for Achievement in Cinematography, Mudbound. The field of cinematography has been dominated by men throughout the long history of motion pictures and television. And we're so pleased and proud that Rachel Morrison has been nominated for an Oscar this year. I think, unfortunately, we work in an industry where success is, is generally quite, um, you know, myopic. You shoot the film, you shoot a film, it gets people's attention, and then you get an Oscar nomination, and everybody feels like, door closed, you've made it. Um, but what I know about cinematography is that it's a lot, lifelong mission for healing. You know, I use cinematography as a vehicle to extend my voice that I feel like otherwise hasn't been encouraged. Gender should not be an issue relating to a cinematographer's abilities as a technician and an artist. And Rachel Morrison is proving that it does not matter if you're black, white, gay, straight. She brings a lot of gifts and a lot of talents to the table that uh, were needed for that film. It's a very delicate story about race and to me shows the American dream butting up with the American reality of really what happened. Rachel photographically really showed us how the landscape itself was, a, was an additional chunk of tension that I think we often zoom past, we don't see. And she, let, she made us bear witness to the ground. She made us bear witness to those, not idyllic blue skies, but those gray skies that have a hint of hope in it and that you want it to be idyllic. You know, after all the scenes where you feel challenged by the human dilemma, you want to look into the sky and see a blue sky, and they never really gave that to us. They gave us that hot, humid, wretched, those moments where the planet's not shining for us. It's, it's, it exists, and, it, and we have to find our way through it. So many scenes in Mudbound are about the visuals. There's very little dialogue. I just remember near the end when the white father has died and they need to bury him and they need help. Need to get the coffin in the ground. And there is something so frightening about the feelings that were evoked by the visuals of this black family about to take their son who was just tortured by this father and his cronies, the white supremacists. And I just was crying. It was so beautiful and painful. She photographed it in a way where a conversation in the barn looks like a conversation in the belly of a beast. You know, it's like people plowing the field. It looks like the, the, the fields are consuming them as they plow it, you know? And I know this is all about expressing the hardship of human beings trying to like survive on a planet that just is so challenging to survive on, especially in a time where the social atmosphere was as challenging. I saw such subtlety in color and framing and lighting, and it's so evocative and breathtakingly beautiful. You know, from a philosophical perspective, um, you know, she's to be celebrated because she um, understands the power of proximity and the power of uh, knowing the characters in front of the camera. I'm hoping that this nomination shows that women are capable of doing this job and more than capable. We are true artists who have so much to give and it's a different voice that needs to be heard.